So opposite arm and leg, lifting high. Tail dropping low, collar staying open. Seven, six, three, two. Let's add a hop to that. So lift up, 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 up. Ten, nine, eight, three, two, and big jumping jacks out and in, out and in. Five, nine, eight, four, three, and let's grab your weights if you got them. And we'll place them in your hands, feet together, knees together, ankles together, arms reach out in front of you, and bicep curl. And keep the collar open, the shoulders pulling back. And alternate one than the other. Eight, seven, six, three. Turn your palms together or towards each other, open and close. Hugging a tree. Collar still stays open. So the focus is on the shoulder blades staying, squeezing together as you open and even as you close. Let's bring the arms slightly apart, not super wide, not a T shape, and lift the arms from here. Keep a little bit of a bend in the elbow, but have the shoulders plug down your back. So it's the arm bone that's lifting up. Five, four, three, two. Let's flip the palms up again and row both arms in, or bicep curl both arms in. Four, three. Keep the elbows bent, turn the palms to face each other, little pulses, up, up, up. Five, four, three, two, just your left arm, punch it up, two, five, Six, seven, just your right arm, eight. Three, two, both arms together, up. Five, six, seven, punch them up, bend the knees, maybe lift the heels and little pulses with your arms back. Two, three. Hold right there, keep the inner thighs together, the tail out, the ribs in for five, four, lower the hips and come all the way up. We can lower one weight to the floor and step forward with, let's say your right foot. So your right foot comes forward, you square your hips, round your lower back, right hand to the thigh, your left arm that's holding the weight will come up behind you. And you're gonna let your left toes turn out, but try to keep your, right, your left hip forward as you pulse the arm up. That's where that rounded lower spine comes in. So if you scoop the abs in, that will try to help you keep your left hip reaching to the wall in front of you. Keep the arm up, squeeze it in, in. Five, six, seven. Now put them together. We're gonna squeeze in first, then lift up. Squeeze, lift, in, up. Six. Seven. One more time. Squeeze in. Hold up. Now we're going to bend and stretch the elbow, but get the elbow higher every time you bend it. Six, five, four, three, two, and release down. Switch sides. So your left foot goes forward. Your right foot steps back. Square your hips. Round your lower back. And again, it's okay that the right toes turn out. The right arm comes up. Little pulses. Keep the scoop of the lower abs. Sometimes once you get into position, the abs are like, oh, we're going to hang out here. You don't need me. But you really do want that scoop the whole time. Hold the arm up. Squeeze it in towards you.
and put them together. Squeeze in, lift up, in and up. Opening the collar, not falling forward. Sometimes the lower back makes the upper back also want to curl. Hold the arm in and up and bend and stretch the elbow. Get the elbow a little higher every time and get the whole arm straighter every single time. Five, four, three, two. Hold the arm straight, squeeze it in, lift it up. Five seconds to hold. Four, open the collar. And then you can bend the back knee as you lower yourself right to the floor. So both weights away. Hands can come under your shoulders. Knees can stay down, that's absolutely fine. Open the collar and pull the abdominals in as you lower and lift, inhale down, exhale up. Seven and eight. Now we're gonna stagger our hands, one a little higher than the other and do four here, four, three, And switch arms and stagger again. Four, three. And then push back into child's pose. So your knees can open as wide as they need to. Your head drops down. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, roll up through the center of the back and bring your legs in front of you. So with your legs in front of you, you can flex your feet and knees bent high to the sky or straight up to the ceiling. Open the collar, elbows bend behind you a little bit before you even start so you're not locking the arms. And then we lift the hips as high as you can get them. And once you get them high, shift your weight back, pull the abs in again and bend and stretch the elbows. 10, nine, eight, five, four, three, now hold the elbows bent a little, shift the weight back. Take your right ankle, cross it over your left thigh and do four here, four, three, two, one. Switch sides, lift the hips higher, four, three, two, and one. Both feet down, have a seat. And let's cross your right ankle on top of your left thigh. Flex your feet if that helps support your knees so you don't feel any knee aggravation as you sit as comfortably as possible in this position with the right arm coming out in front of you. Pull it towards you and press out at the same time. Roll the head maybe. And then the other way. Then the right arm comes out to the side, palm between the shoulder blades, pressing back and down. And reach the left arm down and around, connecting the fingertips if you can, weight in both hips, ribs pulling in, and then maybe leaning forward into a flat back. And pull the weight back again, switch legs. So now it's your left shin on top, sitting up tall again, weight in both hips, Roll the shoulders back and down. Left arm comes out, pull and press. Maybe lift the arm a little higher. Pull the ribs in, keep some tension between the arms. And then the left arm moves out to the side, palm between your shoulder blades, guide the arm down and reach to connect the fingertips if you can pulling them apart, opening the collar, dropping into both hips. And release out from here. All right, we're gonna come into your ballet bar, so you're gonna face right into it. Feet are hip width apart. And we'll start with our left foot today. So bring your left foot up to it, square the hips, Lower the heel if you can. So you're kind of dropping the heel underneath the bar towards the wall in front of you. Push your tail to the wall behind you and then guide your chest forward. So it's okay if you can't touch the bar. 
you want to be able to touch the bar with both legs straight so that you can kind of pull the bar so you can get your chest to open as well. So then you're also like fighting for the upper back to stay open. Another deep breath here. And then pull your weight back and spin the right toes open to slide the left foot forward a little bit. Drop weight into the heel again. A little pull in of the abs. It's not really a tuck of the glutes as much as it's maintaining neutral pelvis as you lift up and over. So you want to just make sure you're not pushing your tail behind you. As you side bend. And then maintaining the leg shape being exactly where it is, round the upper body over and try to kiss towards your knee. Relaxing the upper body as best you can, which adds a lot of weight to the lower body. And bend and press away. Switch legs. So feet are hips width apart. Roll the shoulders open and lift the right foot up. And square yourself again. So sometimes when we bring the foot up, we twist the standing leg. So the toes turn out or the feet get wider than hips width. So kind of perfect your form as best you can, sinking into the right hip, straightening both legs and leaning forward. Open the collar. Try to relax the head and neck if you have to shake it out. That always helps me. Just give a little, a little shake there. And then pull your weight back. Spin open the left toes. Slide your right foot forward. Drop the hip again. Lift the left arm as you reach up. Again, you're pulling your tail down towards the floor. You're not trying to tuck your tail and push your tail in front of you. So it's not a true nature of a tuck here. It's just a repositioning of the pelvis. And then round the upper body to face the knee, bowing forward. And bend and press away. All right, let's come into the bar. Feet are, let's say, hips width apart today. I'll 10 toes face forward. Roll the shoulders up, back and down. And for starters, we'll just lift and lower your heels. So we're going straight up and down. And I want you to focus mainly on your ankle joints right now. So as you go up and down, we're making sure we're not going so high that we're rolling our heels away from each other. Our shoulders stay down, our collar stays open. Now lift the heels and bend the knees forward. When the knees go forward, we're gonna lower down and lift up, lower and lift. Now keep the chest open, the collar open, the abdominals in, eight more, eight seven. Let's go more down than up. Four more. Four, three, two. Now lower the hips and hold right here. You're going to keep the abs in, keep the shoulders pulling back, and you're going to tick-tock your hips side to side. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, now hold in the center again, lower the hips, straight down, lower, little pulses. Five, four, three, two. Now try not to change your shape at all. We're gonna pull back into chair. So your butt pushes back, your ch chest stays open. Yeah, so you're opening the collar, your abs are in, and we're gonna lower the hips down and up. 10, nine, eight, five, four, Three, two, now keep the hips low, lower the heels again, down and up, eight. Butt out, ribs in. Keep the heels up, and we're gonna lower the hips again, eight. Big toes have weight. Lower halfway down, tick tock the hips, seven, side to side, five, four, three, Two, hold in the center, pull your elbows, bending your elbows, pull your body towards the bar. Five seconds to hold. Four, three, two, and come all the way up. And shake it out. And maybe uncomfortably so, but shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. And we'll do one hand on the bar so you can turn. Heels together, toes apart in your small V that we know and love so well. Roll the shoulders back and lift your heels up. 
Bend your knees forward, squeeze the ankle bones, keep the collar free, and lower the hips straight down, straight up. Four, three, lower the hips, pause, lower the heels, down and up, eight, seven, four, three, keep the heels up, lower the hips, eight, seven, four, keep the squeeze, hold them there, abs stay tight. We're gonna take your outside leg, so whichever one is on the outside, an inch forward, Keep the weight with you, so you're bringing your hips slightly center and lower the hips down. Six, five, four. Bring your heels back together. Six here, five, four. Lower and lift, keep the ribs in. Right foot or inside foot forward for six, five. Bring your feet back together again. Six, five, three, two, lower and hold. Keep your heels up, lift your outside arm up, ribs stay in, maybe the inside arm comes up as well for six, five, lower the hips, four, lift the heels, three, screws them together and come all the way out of it. Shake it out and we'll spin around. So we're facing the other direction and we'll bring your feet all the way together. So squeeze your inner thighs together, squeeze your ankle bones together, and lift and lower the heels. Try not to sway forward and back, which is exactly what my body wants to do today. Go straight up and down. Three, two. Keep the heels up, bend the knees forward, lower straight down, straight up, eight. Five. Four, lower and hold, circle your pelvis one direction. We go a little lower. Four, three, two, circle the other way. Inner thighs squeeze together. Three, two, lower the strip straight down, no tuck, pelvis neutral, ribs in. Outside arm comes up, hold as we open and close the inner thighs. Squeeze in, squeeze in, no change to the pelvis. Six, squeeze, five, four, three. Hips, maybe your inside arm meets it for five. Squeeze the ankle bones, four, knees, three, and come out of it. Shake it off, take one hand to the bar and one hand to the same foot. So I have my right hand to right foot, bending my left knee, pushing my right hip forward and opening the front of the hip. Relax your head again. Use the space between your shoulder blades to help open the front of the body. Switch legs. Abs stay tight, collar stays open. And release, done, and we'll come down to the floor and you'll bring your big toes together, your knees stay open. And your hands can come behind you, palms to the floor, fingertips reach to the wall in front of you. Roll the collar open first, push the hips up. You're squeezing the buns. Maybe bend the elbows a little closer. You can even come down to your forearms if you're feeling very warm today. and then lower your buns down, bring your knees back together, and we'll slide your right foot forward. So we're coming into our exaggerated lunge with your right foot sliding slightly forward and dropping your left hip down. Feel the front of the hip open, that's the biggest goal. So you may need to back up or you'll just slide your right foot all the way forward into your split. 
lengthening both knees, remember. So we usually focus on that front leg being super straight, but we want the back leg to be working too. Then flex your front foot, pull back. Hands come a little wider. Tail pushes behind you. You open the front of the chest forward and stick your buns behind you. Deep breath. And then circle your right foot all the way back and your left foot comes forward. And the focus is on the opening the right hip. So as far forward as you can slide that left foot, keeping the big toe down will help you know, once you lift the big toe, it means you're turning out, which means you're altering parallel, which is sometimes all we can do. But the goal is to keep the right, the foot down, big toe engaged. And then again, maybe flex the foot back up or just slide the left foot forward and come into your straight legs, dropping the hips, lengthening the spine, opening the collar, maybe walking your hands further forward, breathing all at the same time. One more deep breath. And then flex your foot, pull back. Hands come a little wider. Tail pushes behind you, opening the collar. And flex, bend, stand down on your left foot. Right foot comes behind. Feet are hips width apart, parallel. Tail goes high, head drops low. Maybe shake the head out and then switch the leg in front. One foot forward, one foot back. And the tail lifts up, the head drops down. And then take your feet a little wider than your hips and walk yourself between them, pushing your tail up again. Bend your knees, hands to your thighs, and carefully roll up. All right, we're going to come back into the bar. And we can bring one hand to the bar, so facing sideways. Feet are going to start parallel, but hips width apart. Bend both knees, and we're going to take your outside leg and step it behind you. But distance. And we're going to square your hips so they're both facing the wall in front of you. Pull the abs in and little tucks. Squeeze the buns. Feel the back of the leg engage. I even have to put your hand on your glute. That helps a lot. Where I like to really check myself is the space between my ribs and hips because I'll dip down and put all my weight into my supporting side. So you want to keep the hips not only the same distance from the wall in front of you, but the same distance from the rib cage. So the hips aren't dipping or changing. Your waist isn't changing length. Now we're going to keep the tuck kick the outside leg up to your butt cheek six five abs stay tight three two now hold the heel really close push the thigh back now hold the bar however you can to get leverage and pull away from it so you're leaning ever so slightly towards the center of the room so your upper body is working hard too to help stabilize you not letting you lean towards the bar or tilt away you're pulling away, but you're pulling away in a nice elongated form. Let's do big circles. Three, two, go the other way, circle, eight. Four, three, two, hold here. We're gonna keep the leg out to the side. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two. Push the thigh back, kick the leg straight and bend, stretch and bend. Five, six, keep the thigh bone as steady as you possibly can. Hold the leg really steady, maybe lift the inside heel up so you have less support there and you're doing more thigh work. Push up and back against the tuck. Push back, straight back. Eight, seven, 
six, tensing, supporting yourself through the waist. Hold right there, lift the outside arm up. No leaning back yet, just do pulses back again. Seven, six, pull the abs in tight. Three, two, then lean back, pull the abs in, lift the chest, five, four, three, and release, shake it out. Let's turn around and get ready to do all of that goodness again. So the left or the outside leg pushes back. You bend both knees, you square your hips, and tuck and release with both feet on the floor. Keep the abdominals tight. Three, two, keep the squeeze of the glute, pull the abs in, kick your heel to your tail. Hold the heel up, punch the thigh back, back. Squeeze the butt. Don't let the lower back arch because that's what wants to happen is your abs want to let go and your lower back is like, oh, I'm done. So pull the rib to hip together tightly. That's what's going to help support your back. And circles. Keep leaning away from the bar. Go the other way. Five. Four, three, two, hold there. Go out to the side, little kicks back. So just like boy dog peeing, punch it back. Six, five, abs stay tight. Keep the abs in, kick the legs straight and bend. Shoulders stay open, out of your necks. That is a personal note right there too. And one, hold the legs straight, maybe lift the supporting heel. Square the hips again and lift from the hips straight back, straight back. Kick it back. Five, four, rib to hip is solid. Hold there, lift the outside arm up. Lean back, but we're going to push back against the tuck. You're not leaning back too hard. You're just looking up to the ceiling. Three, two, now lean back and hold. Five, four, three, two, and release. Shake it out. All right, we'll have a seat and stretch it out. So your legs come out in front of you, you can shake them off. Get out of the neck and cross the, let's see what we did in the warm up. So we'll cross the right ankle on top of the left thigh and then cross the shins. So the shins are stacked. Sit up tall and lean forward with a very flat back. And you can't go any further with a flat back, you can round the rest of the way. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. And then walking yourself back, and we'll do the other side. Left on top, shin on shin. Shoulders stay open as you walk yourself forward. And then when you can't go further anymore, round the rest of the way. And then walk yourself back and we'll come under your bar. So you're going to push your shoulders against the wall, but not your butt. And keep the chest as open as possible. And we're going to take your right leg straight up over your right hip. Roll your shoulders back. Let's point and flex the foot a few times. and then switch legs. So now we're trying to get your left leg straight up, still lengthening the lower back, pushing your shoulders against the wall, point and flex. And then have both legs up, open the collar, shoulders stay open, close and open. Eight, seven, six, Keep the legs hips width apart, pull them in. Eight, 
seven, shoulders stay open, four, three, two, push up with just your right hand really hard under the bar in little circles, eight, seven, six, same leg, circle the other way, eight, four, three, Two, hold back on, reset by clapping and opening the legs, pushing the tail back, pushing the shoulders into the wall. Then just your left hand pushes up and circle. Eight, seven, six. You're digging the hip down into the floor. Go the other way. Four, three, two. I'm shaking. Hold on to both legs. Flex the feet, clap the legs together. Six, five, tail down, chest open. Hold the legs close, push both hands up and we're gonna clap them together for 10, nine, eight. Four, three, two, keep the legs together, pull them in. Eight, seven, six, three, two, and round over. You're gonna walk your hips all the way back into the wall. So now you are completely against the wall. And you're gonna take your hands to the front of it. Back of your head, if possible, touches the wall, the back of the hips. There is space behind the lower back. So don't worry about that. It's kind of the deceiving part of the name of this exercise. And we're gonna pull down and lift one leg, pull down and lift the other. So as you alternate leg lifts, notice if you shift your weight all the way from one butt cheek to the other. You wanna be able, the best of your ability to feel that all of the weight is staying centered in the abs. You're gonna pull down and lift both legs up. Pull down, lift both. Pull down, lift both. I really wanna bend my knees to lift them today. So uh, all the effort is trying not to. Three more, three, two. Pull down, lift. Now pull down, lift, clap, open, drop. Pull down, clap, open, drop. Six, five. Four, butt back, three, two, keep them in the air, keep pulling down and keep clapping. Lift and clap, ten, nine, eight. Even if you're dragging them on the floor, there's nothing wrong with that. Three, two, you're still moving. And then round all the way over. You're gonna walk your hips back in. Let's bend both knees in and take your hands to the inside of the bar and push out. And we're gonna press or lift the right leg and then the left. So alternating again. Four, three, two. Now still pull with your hands and lift both legs up. Up, up. Four, three, two. We're gonna lift up and clap them in, up and out. Up and in, up and out. Three, four. One more, and then we'll keep them in the air and keep them clapping. If you're dragging, you're dragging. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and round over. All right, we're gonna grab your band if you want, want and need it for a stretch because that's all we got in us today. We're gonna take right strap, right foot into the strap or your hand and stretch it out. Push the tail back, lift the chest open. and switch sides. Take another deep breath in. And then come down and into plank. So you're coming away from the wall, coming onto your forearms or onto your hands. Whatever makes the most sense today. On your mark, get set. Oops, I lost my timer again, hold on. On your mark, get set, and go.
20 more seconds. And release down into child's pose. Take a deep breath. Shoulders roll down your back. Head drops. Shimmy it out a little bit. And then roll up. Swing your legs around. So we are now ready for our seated C curve. If you want your legs to be together, that will be more challenged for your lower back. Or they could be hips width apart. Roll your shoulders open. Push the arms out like you're pushing down on a hard surface. Scoop the lower abdomen and roll back off the sitting bones. Hold here. Take a deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. Go back a little further and open the collar. Let's do little circles with the arms. Three, two, go the other way. Three. Two, stay here, lift the arms high for six, five, four, three, and lower down, head down, knees bend in, feet are hips width apart, curl up, head, neck, and shoulders, and look at your thighs, little crunches up, eight, seven, six, shoulder blades stay down, four, three, both hands to the right, eight, seven. Four, three, two, both hands to the left. Eight, seven, four, three, two, tap the top of your thighs. Six, five, four, three, two, and lower down. Arms come up, chest stays open, knees and tabletop. We'll do a double toe tap, so both legs go together and pull back up. You won't go as far as you would with one leg at a time. Six, five, four, challenge yourself. Try to go a little lower. Two, one more time here. Keep the knees bent. Curl up head, neck, and shoulders. Little crunches again. Six, five, four. Three, two, stay there. Just your left leg out and in. Eight, seven, four, three, two. Just your right leg. If you need to hold your head, go for it. Keep the leg going all the way straight, then pull it back in. It's when it goes all the way straight that it's the heaviest. And alternate eight, no twisting yet. Five, keep the collar open. Four, maybe go lower with the legs. Three, two, one more each side. And then lower the head, but lift the legs straight up. Hands come down by your sides. Let's not cross the ankles, but reverse crunch. Lift up, eight, push down to rise up. Four. Three, two, last one. And then curl up, reach towards the toes. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two. Hands come behind your head. Twist across as you bicycle. Eight, seven, six, curl up higher. Five, lower the legs, make it harder. Three, two. Hold the legs together, curl up, stretch the legs out together, reach the arms high for five, four, three, and release down. Arms and legs stretch away from center. We're in a full body stretch. Breathe. You bring your right knee in towards your chest, give a little squeeze. Maybe you rock side to side. And then take your left hand all the way to the outside of the right thigh and pull the knee across the body. Ooh, for a snap, crackle, pop, knee down, twist. 
really pulling the thigh away from the shoulder. And switching sides. Maybe centering yourself first so you know that both hips have weight as you pull the left leg in. Open the collar. And then right hand to the outer thigh. Pull it across. And try to push it down towards the floor. Looking towards your left hand. Another deep breath in. And we'll flip over. So we're on our belly. Arms and legs open. So we are in X marks the spot. The abdominals stay lifted in and up. The shoulders drop down your back. All four limbs lift and start to paddle. Inhaling and exhaling. One more breath. Lift everything higher and release down. And then pop up onto all fours, hands and knees. Knees directly under your hips, hands directly under your shoulders, so they're not together. Round and flatten. Again, round and flatten. And then we'll flip around again for a supported hip lift where our hands come up under the hips. And slowly lower down. So once we come down, your arms reach up over your chest again. Tuck your tailbone under, scoop the abs, and roll the hips up. Once we get up there, a little tuck to the pelvis. Tuck. And circle one way, eight. And circle the other way, eight. Three, two, lift your toes, dig your heels in, lower the hips almost all the way down to the floor and lift back up. Four, three, two, keep the hips up nice and high, little tucks, 10, nine, eight, and again, hip side to side, eight, seven, six, five, Three, two, hold in the center, little tucks, 10, nine. Four, three, two, keep the squeeze of the glutes and lower everything down. And we'll find your band and you can bring your band to the ball of your right foot again, stretch the left leg long. Relax your shoulders as you exhale. Then lengthen your right knee straight on your next exhale, flexing the heel up to the sky, dropping the hip bone to the floor, and then pulling the leg bone in towards you. One more deep breath, perfect your form, and switch legs. So now you're gonna catch your left foot in the band, stretch your right leg long, same idea, first exhale is to get out of your neck, hold the band lower if you need to, that the shoulders are pushing into the floor. Then your next exhale is focusing on length, so straightening behind the knee and reaching the heel to the sky and the hip to the floor. Anchoring the leg bone down and the heel bone up. One more breath to exhale and lengthen again. Both legs come out of the strap, up over your hip, hands to the inner thighs, push the legs open, and we'll circle your ankles in one direction, and then in the other. And hands to the outer thighs, hug the knees in, maybe rock side to side if your spine likes that. And then come all the way up to a wide-legged seated position. Your legs come wide, chest stays open, and we'll go down one leg. So you're kind of pushing 
the arm into the leg as you lift the other arm and try to look up to the ceiling. Oh. And then turn and face the knee and you can move your hands so they frame your leg, one on either side. And come up other side, up and over. Anchoring weight into the hip that you're reaching away from. And turning and facing the knee, nose to knee. And then walk yourself straight ahead. Tail out, chest open. And then shake your legs back in together. Thank you.